Dear class, Dr. Diazio here. I'm sending you this short video to provide some tips and things that we're going to be looking for in your presentation that you're developing. Of course, you have many ways and approaches that you can create that presentation and I've, we've outlined in the assignment, but I wanted to provide a bit more detail of what we're looking for. First, this is an argument. We want to see your analysis and we want to see it in a clear and concise manner. First, think of this presentation and argument as having a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning is kind of framing the problem. We've reviewed some of your systematic moral analysis uh, framework and uh, document, and it's important that you clearly state in the presentation what the problem is. Many of you in your SMAs have identified the problem correctly, while others, others have not. You have chosen a different problem. I don't know um, why you're talking about certain things in technology and uh, etc. or restaurants, but the, the point is it, this is about group work and working with others uh, and people that you, you have to depend on. You, no one works in isolation. So that can be a project formally, informally, formal team, informal team, uh, well-organized, loose teams, whatever. The point is your wor group work is this idea that you have to work with other people. So you have to clearly define the problem. That means first get on board with your teammates to understand what the problem is. Talk to your group mates. It's not clear that you guys have worked together uh, for your SMA documents. Of course some groups have and that's apparent but not all. Discuss the problem and provide context to that. So what is the trends that are happening that is setting up the case? And you want to do that as well in your presentation. So assume we don't know anything about the presentation or anything about the case. Elaborate. That means maybe provide some research. Go out and provide some more. We've provided some in the case, the documents that you've read, but there's a lot more research and evidence out there to suggest that this is a trend or this is a, an important topic and there's more to it. So go out, add more context, include that in your presentation, and assume we don't know what the problem is. So you're making the argument, you're, you're building it up first, and, and then you're gonna eventually provide a solution. In the middle part, use your SMA as your roadmap to provide evidence and uh, your analysis, and demonstrate your analysis. So we're really looking for that you're able to balance the perspectives of all the stakeholders or all the people that are involved. Really think hard about uh, how they're viewing the problem, not from your personal view. This is not an opinion class. This is an ethics and leadership class. So you have to put yourself in their shoes and understand how they feel and the views that they're holding. So really demonstrate the analysis from that perspective. Then there might be several stakeholders and we want you to present the perspectives and the pros and cons and, and the, the different viewpoints that they would have. You're expected to do that. Not just yours, not your opinions. That's not important and we don't care about that. We want you to put yourself in their shoes and understand the dilemma from their perspective and what their obligation is or what their needs are, etc. So go out and find more research, provide evidence, use the SMA as a way to uh, roadmap your presentation, to demonstrate your analysis, to show that you're really thinking about those different perspectives and the challenges and how they may con conflict or provide synergies to the other people involved. So that's their point of view. Show your analysis clearly and concisely we want to show your thoughts. We want you to show your thoughts. We want you to be able to demonstrate to us that you're actually thinking about it and not just playing with emotion or giving your opinion. That's not what this class is about. You are to come up with some logical arguments using evidence, using data, using citations, using the theories, frameworks that are in the book to help you come to some sort of solution with a logical argument. So provide evidence to your solution, you can find data, we provide data, you have all these theories in the book, use those as reference to support your argument. Provide examples, um, things that are going to build your credibility. 
Finally, in the closing, we want you to have some sort of summary that's kind of repitching your idea in a clear and concise way that makes it strong and people buy into your argument. Again, there's many ways to actually create the presentation. You have complete freedom. The, those will also help you in your argument. So take a look at those examples. You're only bound by the limitations of your imagination. But the idea is you have to present the problem, prevent, pre demonstrate the analysis that you have of those different perspectives, provide a solution and why that is meeting those different arguments, and finally, a summary and pitch again uh, to reiterate that's make it clear and concise of your solution so again these are some tips uh, we look forward to the presentations and uh, please feel free to reach out to professor wilder or i uh, if you have any questions again we're here for you on this journey